It has been decided. It's a no go for launch for further Big Ten expansion at this time. Kevin Warren basically lays it out in an SI article. We're going to give you a little excerpt this morning. Welcome to episode 73 of College Football Speaker on the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar, in the decision window. Between August 15th and October 15th, it's been decided. It was always a goal or no goal for launch for further Big Ten expansion. It's been decided. It's a no goal. We're going to get into that. But... It is incredible news for some schools in the Pac-12. Good news, the Oregon State, Washington State, and it's fantastic news for San Diego State. I bet they're having a party right now. It, they should be because the Pac-12 needs to expand. They need to get back to the Southern California market. They really need to get San Diego State on board and potentially SMU. They can't let Big, Big 12 get into the Southern California market. So fantastic news for some schools. Not so good news for other schools. We know that Oregon and Washington have been doing all they can to get into the Big Ten all the way up until now. We've had the intel. We've showed you the intel. Other national reporters have reported on it. But at this time, Big Ten is not going to do it. Please, here in episode 73, put your comments down in the comment section below the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe to our ever-growing channel. And please share the video with your family and friends. Now, we have... For what a couple months have said this was the window. For whatever reason, we were told in July, between August 15th and October 15th, this was the decision window. It looks like that decision window came all the way up to the basketball media, uh, media days for Big Ten basketball, and the decision's definitely been made. Let's look at the excerpt here from, from SI, from Kevin Warren, and then we'll get into it. Def, I say definite no go for launch for further expansion at this time. Kevin Warren. This is Kevin Warren speaking. Because of the landscape we live in, college athletics right now, just being a prudent businesswoman or businessman, you have to be mindful of potential conference realignment <coughs> excuse me, or expansion. But this is not something we're aggressively doing right now. In other words, it's a no go for launch for further expansion. Back to Kevin Warren. When people ask me right now, do I think certain conferences may grow through a natural evolution to 18 or 20 schools? I do believe that. Now, over what time period is the critical question. So it's not that there's going to be more expansion. There's going to be. But the time period is the critical question. Back to Kevin Warren. I don't know if that's within a year or five years or seven years. I just think there's going to be kind of like that, kind of like that the Big Ten grew in the past. Definite no goal for launch for further expansion. Okay, that's Kevin Warren speaking. Now, what about the motivations? The motivations to look into expansion. Kevin Warren never wanted to stop at 16 schools at this time when USC and UCLA was added on June 30th. The motivations behind the travel difficulties, they're still going to be there. They're still going to be there. I was commenting on Twitter yesterday and I put out a tweet. If you want to know the difficulties of the Olympic sports and the non-revenue sports, in this huge national conference, the difficulties they're going to be under, the student athletes, the teams trying to compete at the highest level. Just take a look at what Jack Swarbrick said, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish Athletic Director this summer in a Q&A when he talked about the difficulties of Notre Dame competing at the highest level, traveling in the ACC, in the ACC. Notre Dame's in Indiana, but yet they're having trouble travel issues within the ACC. Can you imagine? Well, you don't have to imagine. It's going to happen. The travel issues of the Big Ten with USC and UCLA. There's been a lot of times that I have been accused as being a Big Ten propagandist, right? 
But let me tell you something. There is no strings attached to me at all. We're independent. We're absolutely independent. We get our information from the money perch. Okay? And if you don't know what that is, you can check our pin tweet at Flag Empire, at BTM and his associates. The travel issues is going to be immense throughout the Big Ten for the next for the coming years. And us here at Peek Around the Corner, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it because it's right there. The issues are going to be immense. Kevin Warren knows this. But either way, he couldn't get the money from Amazon for further Big Ten expansion, like we've been saying for weeks, that very well could happen. Or he couldn't swing the votes in the Big Ten. But either way, the issue is going to be large. The travel issues are going to be large in the Big Ten. And we're going to be covering here at Peak Around the Corner. We're also going to be covering the fact that Pac-12 looks like they're going to survive. And boy, do they need to expand. They need to bring on San Diego State, like we said. Great news for San Diego State. And the Big 12, Brett Yormark. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to poach any Pac-12 schools. His expansion won't get, won't go westward. There was some news yesterday that Brett Yormark finds his negotiations with ESPN and Fox extremely healthy at this point in time. He may, he may, the Big 12 may get out of the Big 12 exclusive window with their two current media partners, Fox and ESPN. He may kick the can down the road and negotiate in 2024 media negotiations to get a new Big 12 media contract, or he might strike a deal here very soon. But Big 12 does have a little bit of steam where they might get a good media contract right now. The Pac-12, they couldn't reach a deal with the ESPN and, Pac and, and Fox. And now they're taking their media contract to the open market to hopefully generate some bidding. We also heard yesterday, or the day before, I believe it was yesterday, uh, an Amazon of official, a lady who, who had who's been a part of Amazon bidding process for other sports leagues, for other sport content. And she she said, we're still knocking on the door. We're still knocking. They're still trying to get more content. It doesn't look like that will be for the Big Ten, right? If, and it looks like it's obvious, it's a no-go for launch for further expansion for the Big Ten at this time, there's no need for more Big Ten live content to be put out on any other media company. Definitely not Amazon, right? Big Ten has its own media companies ready to go for 2023. So that means if there's no further expansion, if it's a no-go for launch, that means Big 12 and Pac-12 will be talking with Amazon. There's an opportunity there, right? Pac-12 getting ESPN and Amazon as their two media companies, it could work. It could work. We shall see. We shall see what type of money Pac-12 is going to get. But stick with us here at Peek Around the Corner. Interesting times ahead. We had a live show this weekend or on Monday. We talked about the Rick Neuheisel saying that ESPN, ESPN Radio saying basically it's a it's all but a done deal to bring Washington and Oregon into the Big Ten. We were asked on that live show, what do you know, Greg? So we, I, we said, we don't have that intel. We do not have that intel. It's a done deal. And we never did. But the effort, the effort was there. The want is there. The motivation is still there. In our episode 52, go back to episode 52 in Oregon, when we said they're trying aggressively they're being aggressive in negotiations, conference realignment negotiations with Big Ten. You go back to that episode, you'll hear us say that the money perch specific person, Oregon booster, said if we swing and miss now, which could happen, we will keep swinging. We will keep swinging in the next couple of years. They also said, he also said that he was told that Oregon wouldn't sign anything, any grant of rights that had any real teeth to it. 
So we're going to be covering that story. What type of media contract is Oregon and Washington going to sign with the Pac-12? What type of grant of rights is going to be involved in that? Wow. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. So we wanted to put out a quick episode 73. It's a no-go for launch for further Big Ten expansion in this window of time. We did get the answer. We did get the answer before October 15th. So that info was absolutely correct. There was decision making going on here. There were meetings. There was action. And we were glad to give it to you all in real time. As much information as we were told. Which wasn't a whole heck of a lot. But we did get some. So we appreciate We appreciate you all coming here at Peek Around the Corner. Buckle up. Brace for impact. There's so much more decisions to be made throughout the Pac-12 and the Big 12. And let's not forget the Big 10. How do we schedule a 16-team conference in basketball, softball, baseball, volleyball? How do we do this? How does Kevin Warren do this? How does the Big 10 presidents do this? Well, we're going to be watching. We're going to be reporting this at peak around the corner. All right. We got a big weekend of games. Big weekend of games. Baylor, West Virginia tonight. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. Either Baylor can't get it done and win at Morgantown and their dreams of repeating as Big 12 champions go up in smoke or Neil Brown can't get it done and loses another home game and may not be able to keep his job at Morgantown. Something's got to give, and we got a huge, great slate of games this Saturday. Saturday morning, 11, at 12 noon, 11 o'clock Central, we're going to be doing a watch party, watch along, Gophers versus the Fighting Illini. Join us if you want. It's going to be a great time. Again, until next time. Here at Peek Around the Corner, to all of you, please, you all take care of each other. Thank you so very much.